If you are working on writing a review article, a research article, or even your thesis or dissertation, you may be trying to take figures or tables or even excerpts from published articles and use it within your own dissertation, review, or research article. Whenever you're doing this, you need to be aware of copyright restrictions. So if something has been published in a journal, you can't just take it and publish it in another way without getting copyright permissions from that journal to do so. So whenever I was writing my review, I had to get copyright permissions for every single image I used from a different research article. And when I did my thesis or dissertation, I actually had to get copyright permissions, not only for the images I used within my review, but for every paper that had already been published that was included in my dissertation. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can get these copyright permissions. And before I get started, if you are writing a scientific research article, make sure you check out my scientific research article checklist in the uh, description below. It just gives you a framework for how to write it so then you can get your copyright permissions for it. So I'm gonna come to Scholar and I'm just gonna come here to find some random papers that I can use. So I'm just gonna search for my own papers. That way I'm not putting anyone else's stuff out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at a few. So this is an ACS journal here. I'm going to look at this one. This is in um, biology, so a very different one than I tend to do. And then this is a steroids one, which is an Elsevier journal. So we'll go through how to do it for three different journals. And most of these use the same back end. It's like right CCS um, to be able to do their copyright permissions. So if I'm going to come here, so the first thing you want to do whenever you're looking to do an entire article or a figure from that article is you want to go to that article's homepage on the journal's website. You don't want to go to like PubMed, Semantic Scholar. You don't want to go to any of those. You want to go to its homepage on the website. So Google Scholar is really good to do to find that homepage if you don't have the website or you can use the DOI. The DOI should take you directly to that page. So in here, this is one of my articles. And what I'm looking for is something that's like um, get permissions, reuse permissions, something to that extent. So you can see up under the site this, you can see it's request reuse permissions. So I'm going to click that. And this takes you to this rights link. That's what most um, of the ones that I've dealt with are using. Some do use a different one, but most of them use this. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in and you have to fill out some information about what you're using and how you plan to use it. So I would like to reuse, if you're reusing in a thesis or dissertation, you would click reuse in a thesis or dissertation. If you're reusing in a journal, you would click reuse in a journal. So I'm gonna do it for thesis or dissertation. That seems to be, um, one of the easiest, and most will give it to you if you're using it in a thesis or dissertation. So if I'm using it in a thesis or dissertation, the request type is the author. So if I'm the author, um, if I'm the author's employer, or if I'm using it for profit, say I'm writing a book and trying to sell it, that would be for profit or nonprofit. In this case, a thesis or dissertation typically works with nonprofit, but I would actually be the author in this case, um, not just the not just for a nonprofit reason. Um, and then the selection. So I can use the full article. That's what I would use if I'm doing it in my thesis or dissertation. That is what I had to do when I published this exact article in my dissertation. I had to use the full article and then I my dissertation was print and electronic. So I would need to do that. And then I can do the quick price. And so this is saying, that the permission license is granted for your order at no charge. So basically this is giving me the permission to now use it in the way that I said that I was going to use it. Um, if I was doing something different, so let me go ahead and redo this. Let's say I was doing it for a thesis or dissertation. Um, I'm gonna say it's nonprofit, so I'm not the author, but it's nonprofit. And then I'm only using a portion. So I'm specifically using a table or figure. And then I need to put the number of figures that I'm using. So if you look in here, this number reflects the number of pages, figures, tables, videos of the publisher's content. So this would be like different figure numbers, not different like sections within a figure. Um, so for example, let me pull up this actual papers that I'm kind of being clearer here. So if I pull up this entire paper, let's say I want this, this would be one figure. Um, it's just figure one. If I took this individual one, I'm still only taking one figure. 
And that's the same as if in here there's four graphs, but these four graphs are all part of one figure. So I would count up the total number of figures that I would be using. And let's say I'm only using one figure. And then again, I can do this quick price. And again, it's for at no charge. So this is most of them that you're going to get, but you do wanna go through this for every single one. Sometimes they will send you an email and they need your information specifically before they can process your request. So most publishers are going to do it in the same way. So the ACS journals, even if it's not like the Journal of American Ch Chemistry, so this one's the Journal of American Society for Mass Spectrometry, but any of the ACS publications are probably going to be like this. If we come over here, this is Oxford Academic is the publisher here. And then you can see right here, it says permissions. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm just going to click to go to that. And so you can see this is again, using the same website, but different ones will have different things you need to do. Some you have to make an account, sign in and register, some you don't. So if this case, if I was using this, let's say I'm reusing this in a thesis or dissertation, um, I am, let's say I'm a non-for-profit, so I'm a, somebody that didn't write this. Obviously, I am an author on this, so I could just use that I was an author. And my format's going to be print or electronic. And then I want to use a figure. And then again, I need to put in the number of figures. So let's say I was using one figure. And this one's specifically asking if I'm gonna be translating. So let's say I'm not translating anything and I can get a quick price. And so this says that it is $0, um, but then I need to continue to place the order. So if I continue, it's probably gonna ask me to sign in, yep. So I would need to register and sign in to then be able to get access to that. And generally you would get sent an email saying that, okay, we have approved um, what you are doing from that. So. It's not always just you can assume that it's no charge. And even if it is no charge, like it says here, I will still need to actually submit that request to um, have that copyright access. And then this is an Elsevier journal. A lot of journals um, are also through Elsevier. And so I can click here. You see this get rights and content. That's the exact same thing. So again, it's taking me to the exact same site, but again, every single journal may have a different way of doing this. You need to make sure that you're going through it every time. So let's say I'm going to use this in a thesis dissertation again. So I'm gonna fill out these same things here. Let's say I'm gonna use two figures. My format's both print and electronic. And let's say I'm not the author, even though I am the author, and I'm not gonna be translating it. So then I can get a quick price. And so again, this is gonna be $0. And you can see here, this flag, a single table with multiple images should be treated as one. Um, so that's what I was talking about earlier. Even if you have multiple images within this one figure, it's still treated as one figure there. So this again, it's free of charge, although you are required to obtain a license. So again, I need to click continue. I need to make an account, put in my information and register it. A lot of times whenever you do that, it's going to ask for what's the title of your dissertation or, what, or what's the title of your journal article that you're submitting, something to that extent so that they have a record of exactly where the information is going and that you did obtain that copyright permission to use. So overall, that is how to access copyright permissions. Um, if you are working with any kind of full article, an excerpt of an article, anything like that, you do need to obtain those copyright permissions. Even if you are citing back to that article, you still have to obtain the copyright permissions if you're taking anything directly from that article and putting it in your own article. Don't forget, if you are writing a scientific research paper, you can check out my scientific research paper checklist below. And if you're writing a dissertation, I'll also put my dissertation workshop down below as well if you need to know how to do this for your dissertation. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.